let me get started. Uh, I'll start sharing my screen to start the presentation. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Let's get started. Uh, so I will uh, quickly get started with a quick round of introductions um, and uh, welcome everybody to the webinar. Um, I'm Monica. I um, manage everything customer education related for uh, Rocket Train. And our major aim in starting this uh, webinar series is to have more customers uh, adopt Rocket Lane, like it's part of their business and uh, build on top of Rocket Lane their project workflows and process workflows and automate more things to get work done faster and uh, much you know better than how it was before. So that's our aim. And with that note, uh, let's get started going to today's topic. Okay, so I think we can start this as a tradition uh, where we will start talking about a tale of reminiscence as to how we were doing things uh, before Rocket Lane and uh, how we, uh, we will be doing things better and faster with Rocket Lane. So before Rocket Lane, right, uh, there, there is this niche in every project management or onboarding cycle where your uh, internal teams like the pre-sales and the sales teams close a deal and they're extremely excited uh, for uh, the customers to delve into the product and for the onboarding teams to set things up for them and so on. So there is this process of um, getting customers uh, moved from the pre-sale cycle into the onboarding or the service delivery cycle. And uh, in the next onboarding cycle, I think, uh, there will be an onboarding specialist who will be taking up the entire uh, project and working on it. And project managers will be facilitating everything. But uh, only a pre-sales person will have all the context about what promises were made to the customer, what solutions were promised, and uh, what expectations were set in terms of uh, product and uh, services or implementation timelines and so on. So in order to capture all this information in a centralized place and not have it scattered in someone else's Google form or Sheets or Drive, Rocket Lane introduces forms. So uh, with scattered communication, there can be lots of uh, mismatched expectations between your internal uh, teams, yourself and your customer. And you wouldn't actually project a united front in front united front in you know in front of your customers so that's not a great um, first impression that you would leave if you don't have all the context information from your uh, pre-sale cycle and also uh, if you uh, let's say you kick off the uh, project and you start working on it without a native uh, feedback mechanism where you have a loop of getting to understand what your customers need uh, what issues they are facing and you know how you can better serve them it's going to be difficult to uh, understand the pulse of the customer during the onboarding journey. So you may think everything is uh, well in paradise, but it may not be. So basically, without a, a, a place where you do handoffs, uh, uh, you know, do governance, collect feedback, uh, you know, all in one place, a centralized place, I mean, if you don't have that, there can be a lot of siloed conversations happening and too many people involved and the wrong expectations set. So uh, that's the reminiscence tale uh, that was happening before, uh, you know, forms that are native to Rocket Lane was introduced. So next is uh, we're going to talk about how you can use the forms feature to transform all your existing project workflows to be extremely efficient than how it was before. That's what we're going to delve into and see how, uh, uh, you know, a response that comes into your handoff forms can actually pick and choose a project plan very, very, uh, you know, useful and fits your customer use case. So that can be entirely automated. Uh, moving forward, if you fill any field in a form that can automatically sync with your uh, project information inside the project and also to your CRM, you know, from which your uh, deal came or from where your project was created. Not just that, uh, as you progress into your uh, projects, you may have, uh, you may do some testing and you may, uh, you know, uh, come across certain issues or bugs. And instead of dealing with all that in a different siloed system, what if you can do all of that in Rocket Lane itself and automate the entire flow? Or if you have a third party like Jira, how can you make sure that the issues reported in the project plan in Rocket Lane actually, you know, transfers to the Jira account and how anybody who's working in the Jira account can, you know, come back and sync information into Rocket Lane? 
that is something that we can definitely automate and finally even though rocket lane has the default csat mechanism after every milestone task that you can you know trigger to customers we also on top of that give you a customized uh, place where a place where you can build customized csat forms and circulate to your customers so these are the things that we are going to see how you can uh, templatize and automate in rocket lane and i know uh, this this also will be the training path that we'll be taking today where we'll see how to uh, templatize forms how to use that to automate certain workflows how to use forms in projects and collect feedback and so on so all of this is a lot theoretical and i know all of you are looking forward to actually see rocket lane in action so i won't make you wait any longer let's dig deep and go into the project itself so first we are going to talk about handoffs and i'm going to show you how a form that is fully built in rocket lane looks like for anybody who is filling it so you have a link uh, to the form that you can share with customers or internal team members and this is what they will see when they open the link uh, you can see that it is it looks similar to any google form or a type form and uh, all the information that's filled here will pour directly into your project plan uh, from where this form comes from so all of the information will be sent to you to a centralized place now that we see how this form looks like let's go deep and see how to build this form so as an administrator in rocket lane you can uh, access templates just go into templates um, select form template so you can see that we let you templatize lots of different uh, aspects uh, that you deal with on a day to day basis like projects documents project updates even and forms is also one of the things we let you templatize and that's what we are going to uh, delve deep into today so select form templates i will choose the uh, form that i specifically created to show you guys today which is the pre sales to onboarding handoff form so if you take a form in rocket lane it's it can be built with multiple fields uh, that come as form fields and there are different types of fields that you can just click and use uh, to build your form so if you uh, for example since it's a handoff form that is between internal teams like pre sales to onboarding you can have your pre sales uh, you know fill in your customer information and the field type can be a short text field type meaning uh if it contains a uh, very little information like the customers company size or uh, the industry or their address it can be a short text field followed by if it's the customer uh, name again it's a short text field but rocket lane also allows you to use speci specific fields like email fields if you are looking to connect collect the business email of your customers and uh, other things like the one that we are going to delve into right now which is a radio button field so there the radio button usually lets you choose one of the options and that's what it does here too but it just doesn't stop there since these choices can have decision trees attached to them rocket lane forms let you do that as well for example here uh, i am looking to collect information from my pre sales uh, person as to what industry this customer is going to belong to and here i've given options like saas ps agency and so on but for saas i want to be extra specific so i'm building out a branch which looks like this so here i say okay this person belong i mean this customer belongs to saas industry but what type of project are they going to run so that's what i've added as a decision uh, part of a decision tree here where the project type can be onboarding or any other project type for similarly you can do the branching for other uh, uh, options as well and you can choose the type of question that needs to go into i have again chosen chosen a radio button type you can also do a checklist where multiple options can be selected or you can do a single uh, field drop down or a multi select drop down and so on so we you know support all different types of choice based fields in uh, form templates the next is uh, so you, you want to also look at the rfp template that was shared or the contract or the proposal uh, form that you your pre sales uh, you know should be sharing with you before you kick start the project you can quickly add the attachment field just click on it and you'll get added to your form and the major thing that you can do here is make it mandatory so if you see a red asterisk on top of the name of the field it means that it is a field that's required to be completed for the person who's filling it up to submit the form so you can just toggle it on to add requirements the next is um, a very interesting option that you see here which is a project field that is being used in a form so if you just scroll down to your left you can see that all the project fields that you have set up in your instance will pop up under the 
form section. So here, instead of creating a project field from scratch, you can just click on the project field and it'll get added to your form. On top of that, whenever a, a you know person is filling up this form with a project field, the information will automatically get populated in your project information section inside the project plan. I'll show you how that looks like. But right now, uh, I'm just letting you know that this particular form field, uh, project field that you're using in your forms, it has the ability to populate information inside your project and even sync back uh, information into your, into your CRM if you have uh, field sync enabled in your CRM and Rocket Lane integration. So I'll I'll let you see all of this shortly. So this is a field that is a project field that's being used in a form. And you can see here that in order to make changes to this project field, you can't do it here because it is set up in the project field section in Rocket Lane. So we also give you the option to navigate to that setting and make changes to the project field there instead of doing it here. So that's one thing. And here, um, here is a quick, uh, you know, example of how, uh, um, you know, checkbox field will look like. And you can see that it is given avid um, information under descriptions and that populates here. So anybody who's reading your field, if they need more context, you can add a description and uh, let them know what they need to be filling up. So here that's done. And again, that's a billing contact, which is an email field. And then this is again a project field that I've used. So based on the input that comes from the person filling up this field, uh, it will get populated under project information and also can sync back to your uh, CRM. Similarly, I have used checklist uh, checkbox field again, where uh, for this, I'm collecting the training needs from my pre-sales person. And for the branch admin, I have set up another checklist uh, checkbox field where you know the pre-sales person can choose uh, what are all the types of enablement or admin trainings that you need to do for your customers. So this is in a nutshell how uh, you build uh, forms in Rocket Lane, form templates in Rocket Lane. Uh, so if you're wondering uh, what other types of fields that you can use, there is a whole lot here available. I, I'm not able to show everything here, but according to your business use case, you can just pick and choose whichever field makes more sense to the information that you're collecting. And this, these forms are predefined uh, questions that you are collecting from your pre-sales person. And as, as I already mentioned, based on the input that comes in to this form, you can create a project plan and attach it to your existing project. And that's the workflow that we're going to see next. So for so far, I was talking about the CRM integration uh, that you have with Rocket Lane. I'm taking Salesforce integration as an example here. We have native integrations with HubSpot and also uh, enable you to build uh, integrations with other CRMs that you may have with uh, the help of Zapier and Vocato, which you can check out uh, for sure. But here I'm talking about the Salesforce integration that we have. And you can see that for the automation where uh, we create projects directly from uh, Salesforce, I have used this template to get the project created. So you can either create a project directly inside Rocket Lane or set up an integration with the CRM and uh, uh, do an automation to create a project whenever an opportunity is closed one in Salesforce. That's what you're seeing right now. And in this automation, I've chosen the template as pre-kickoff onboarding template. And this is how the template will look like. So this is an entirely uh, private uh, uh, you know, project plan that you're seeing, which is pre-onboarding or pre-kickoff with your customer. So all of the tasks listed here are basically tasks for internal team members that need to be completed before the kickoff of the onboarding project. So to the bottom of this particular or to the end of this particular phase, I am attaching the form that we just created. So this is the form that we created and uh, this is basically a template. So I'm attaching this form template as part of the template that I will be using for my project. Here, uh, all I've done is click on add form. When I do that, all the forms that I created will pop up and I can choose the appropriate form. So before we delve into how to automate this process, I will talk about automations in general in Rocket Lane. So Rocket Lane enables you with two types of automations. The first is uh, global automations where you get to set up uh, process workflows or automate workflows globally for all projects, all tasks, all forms and so on. There is another option where hey, uh, if you decide, hey, for SaaS onboarding projects, 
I will want to do, have certain automations for uh, projects uh, stemming from the US region. I will want to enable certain automations. So for those use cases, we enable you to set up automations on a template level. So if you have a, a SaaS onboarding template to support all your SaaS projects, you can set up the automations on the SaaS onboarding templates, you know, and any project that uses that SaaS onboarding template will follow all the automation workflows that you have set up. That's exactly what we're doing here for a, a template uh, that is specific for my SaaS type of or onboarding type of projects. I am adding an automation where uh, that's what we're going to see here. So to create an automation for a template, just click on the form uh, or a task for which you want to create a, a automation. Here, since we are doing it for a form, I am just clicking on the form that I just added to the template. And to the right hand side, you, can, you, you see the automations option, click on it. And if you're creating a new automation, you can click on add automation and you can create multiple automations for the same form or same task. Here, I will show you the automation that I've set up for project plans to be created, for project template to be imported. So here, any automation to kickstart it needs a trigger. And here, our trigger will be when the pre-sales person submits the form. So whenever they submit a form, it will be considered as a new form response and that will be our trigger. So once that trigger is set up, you can specify the condition on, on the basis of which a project template needs to be imported into your existing project. Here, I'm setting up the condition as uh, these are all uh, form fields that you're seeing here. So since we are creating an automation from a form, all the fields part of the form will populate here for you. And that's what we see here. So here I'm choosing the condition as if the pre-sale selects the industry as SaaS, then the action that needs to be performed in this automation is for the SaaS onboarding template to be imported. Not just that, you can also specify when this template needs to be imported. It can either be one day from when this form was submitted or immediately if you want the uh, template to be imported, you can select the start by day as zero days. That's what I've done here because I want immediate import of the project plan into my existing project on the submission of my uh, handoff form. So this is as easy as it seems. As soon as you set up this uh, automation, ensure to save it and also save the entire uh, template. Now, uh, I already created a project with this template that we just saw, the pre-kickoff template. Here, you can see that this form is private. So you can make an entire phase or task or form private in Rocket Lane by just clicking on make a private. So here, I can show you that. You may be familiar with it, but... Uh, So to make a particular uh, form or template private, you can just click on uh, the three dots near the task and uh, ensure that it is marked as private. Sorry, let me do it here. So I can mark this entire phase as private. And that's what we've done here also. And since this form is part of this phase, it's marked as private. You can also do it uh, particularly for a form. So coming back to the uh, project that's created with this template, I'm choosing uh, this form that we just added it to the template and let me fill it out so that I can show you how it will trigger the automation. So you can see that I'm choosing the industry as SaaS, which is going to be one of the conditions that the automation should satisfy in order to import the uh, template that I mentioned. So I'm adding the attachment, I'm selecting use cases, taking off my checklist, adding the billing contact. This is again a project field that I'm filling. So you can, I will show you how this will show up in the project information. And I'm checking the boxes on what are all the trainings I need as a pre-sales and I'm submitting the form. So it's just taking a little bit of time to get the uh, 
plan on board. So here you can see that as soon as I uh, filled out this particular response, the entire template that was supposed to be imported got imported. And you can see that inside this phase uh, in the audit trail, it will show that an automation created this task. Meaning after I filled out the response for this particular form, uh, the automation kickstarted and it imported the entire uh, template into this particular ex existing project. And in the, uh, uh, you know, audit trail, you can also see that it's an automation action. So that's how easily you can uh, build a form, uh, have your uh, form template, add it as part of your existing project template and have anybody uh, who is part of the, you know, project that has this template, fill it out. And once that's done, the automation will kickstart and it'll import the chosen template based on the conditions that you've specified in your automation into your project plan. So if the a condition is a SaaS uh, condition, it'll import the template that you chose for SaaS onboarding. So that's how easily you can pick and choose the plan that needs to go into uh, the creation of the project plan for your customers. So that's the first aspect of what we wanted to delve into with respect to uh, how you build a form and use it to uh, create uh, project plans specific to industry or region specific needs of your customers. The next is, as you start your project and you go about doing it, there may be phases where you're doing testing or UATs with your customers and for sure issues and bugs may pop up. Instead of tracking all of these issues in different systems and assign, assigning different engineers or people to that system, you can do all of that within Rocket Lane itself or use a third party like Jira and integrate it with Rocket Lane in such a way and so tightly that anything that happens here moves there and anything that happens there comes here. So I'll show you how that looks like. So I created a form for reporting bugs. I'll show that form as well to you. So this is a very, this is a private task because anything that you're reporting need not be visible to customers. It can be private to your team members. So I've added this as a private form. Let me quickly fill it to show you how a task can be created on form response. So previously we saw how we need to set up an automation to import a project plan on form submission. That is uh, something that you can tailor to your needs. But Rocket Lane lets you, um, uh, you know, just toggle on a feature under form automations form template automations where you say when a form response is submitted, you create a task on the project. So this is basically just a toggle that you need to do for a task to be created when a response is received on a form. You can go to further granularity and see to the fact that whenever a task is created on form submission, it needs to be uh, done under a particular phase of the project template that was used. So in this particular uh, example, uh, I have used uh, the project template simple onboarding. So you can see that I've used the template simple onboarding and uh, even under the automation that I'm doing for form response submission, I'm saying that any project that has this template simple onboarding, uh, G uh, create a new task under the face go live and value delivery. So this is the automation that I've set up. Uh, this I am doing under templates under form templates, I'm choosing the form for which I need this automation to run and under automations, I'm toggling dot. So now I will show you how me filling up this form is going to create a new task. Uh, so you can see that a new task is created uh, for the form that I just filled. And you can also see that this task is private because that form was private. So this task you can see contains all the description that I just filled out. So uh, with this information, you can either assign an engineer from your uh, Rocket Lane account itself who will be working on this, where you can track how the issue is going, do raid logs and see the progress of the issues. Or 
you can also create a Jira issue right from here. So if Rocket Lane has native Jira integration, and if you've already integrated Rocket Lane with your uh, Jira account, you can create a Jira issue right from this task. You can choose the issue type. I mean, it can be the project that you have in Jira. Just select the project under which this task needs to be created. Select the issue type, uh, whichever it is. And you can see that the entire description will be moved to uh, Jira as soon as you submit it. The reporter is going to be me and I'm creating a task in Jira. So you can see that uh, under Jira, a task will be created and any comment that you add here will be copied to Jira. And I also have a Jira account where I can show you the task that got created right now. So this is the task that got created right now. And every information that I added there is visible to you here. And whatever you do here will automatically sync back to your Rocket Lane account and show you, you know, everything that you do in Jira. So basically there is sanity on all the information and tracking that's going on on the issues and the bugs that are reported through your forms. So that's as easy as it seems. As I already mentioned, you can do it within Rocket Lane itself, or if you have a third party like Jira, you can integrate with that system and create an issue right from within Rocket Lane. So that's how easily you can do ongoing project bugs, uh, you know, and issue tracking using forms in Rocket Lane. Next, um, as you go about, you know, doing your project and you come to the final stages and you're going to hand over your project to a customer success uh, who is going to be doing hyper care for the uh, customer you're onboarding. In that case, you can definitely create a checklist containing all the items as an onboarding specialist, you know, what you've completed. And finally, you can also do some action items as part of the form that where you're letting your customer success or your hyper care team know that, hey, this customer, you know, will give you cross sell and upsell uh, opportunities because they are interested in other features that we have. And this customer is supremely happy with the services that we are providing. So you can get a case study and reviews from them. So all of this information is something that you can put on a check list and add it as part of your project template so you can see here that i've added this form as part of my project template and here is also something that you can automate so for example uh, you want the hyper care uh, to kick in only after a checklist is submitted you can use that to trigger an automation where Again, we are using the trigger as new form response submitted, where but the action is going to be different here because hypercare can be a set of tasks and subtasks that can get added to your existing project where a hypercare team or a customer success is going to take over, but they will need the checklist from you to get going or get started. So in that case, you can add an onboarding checklist here, add a trigger that says whenever a onboarding specialist uh, submits a response, create a task. And tasks can be created from scratch or from a template. So I'll quickly show you what a template looks like. So you can create any task into a template in your project template section. So this will come become extremely handy for you when you're adding ad hoc tasks to your project plan. So if you have a project and you wish to add ad hoc tasks to it, so here I'm gonna add a task. Here it'll, uh, you know, uh, sorry. So it'll ask me if I want to add a task directly or if I want to add a task from a task template. So these are all for ad hoc project creations. And now you can also use it for automation. So while creating a task, I can either do it from scratch or from a template. And here, since I already have hypercare as a template from a different uh, project template, I can choose the hypercare task here. And I'm going to add it to the existing training and go live phase. And it will start on the day of the submission of the form. form. So whenever response is received, uh, you will be adding a new task to your existing onboarding uh, project plan and uh, assign it to the customer success manager. So I can show you a project uh, where I have this. Yeah, so this is the form that I had. And as soon as I filled out the form, a hypercare task was created and it had multiple subtasks inside it, which also got created. And here you can see that it was an automation action where after the filling of the form, the response was received and the automation kickstarted and created this hypercare task. So that's uh, how you can also do a closed loop of how you did a handoff at the start, how you track issues in the middle, and also did a checklist when you're handing it over to your hypercare or customer success teams. 
finally uh, the most raved about uh, csat uh, feedback mechanism so rocket lane again allows you to create your customized feedback uh, forms irrespective of the milestone feedback survey that we trigger after every milestone task completion you can also share a customized feedback form with your customers so as i already discussed rocket lane lets you uh, build out your the form of your dreams using its uh, various form fields and star rating is one of the fields definitely utilize so we allow you to do ratings from 3 to 5 to 10 and here you can see that i have added uh, you know a five rating i have given a proper description and a label and let the customer filling it out know that hey this is what we are expecting from you and you can also do granular level of csat tracking like how the communication was uh, you know with respect to the entire onboarding how timeliness was a major part of the delivery that you did in as part of the you know the de delivery on delivery or onboarding and what is the level of knowledge your team possessed and what is the likelihood that the customer will give you a case study or do word of mouth and talk about you to other people so you can do uh, ratings for all of that and you can see that i've used a mix of five and 10 star rating and finally you can add a paragraph field where your customers can leave comments to their satisfaction so all of this can be completely uh, you know um, customized i'm just giving you an example you can definitely tailor to your needs and you since this form is going to be shared with customers uh, rocket lane allows you to design it beautifully as you know as uh, custom as you like it you can either use the fields that we give you by default or add your custom image as the header uh, choose the brand your company has as your uh, you know brand color add any uh, you know glossy background images that resonates with your company's company brand and theme and do all of that and share it with your customers and that's where this setting comes into play where uh, you may have multiple champions in your customer team and you might want to share uh, this form with multiple people so in that case you have to allow multiple responses to be received for this form that you do under the settings under form templates where you allow a form to collect multiple responses and you you need not restrict it only to team members inside your company to fill it it, it can be anyone with a link where they can submit a csat survey so you can do this and add it as part of your project so you can see that this uh, csat is added as part of the project and to circulate this form to your customers you can either copy the link so you can copy the link from here and share it uh, in cadences with your customer or if your customer is extremely collaborative and they you know talk to you more uh, in the customer portal on project chats uh, or everything you can just ask them to uh, fill out the cc chat form right from here where uh, they can view it from the customer portal and share it and submit their responses so that's how easily you can do close feedback loops uh, using uh, customized csat forms there are two other things uh, that uh, on a high level i can talk about um, and if you want to delve deep we can do it in other sessions so i'll just do it before we wrap up so governance forms is something that uh, you know you can definitely do using rocket lane so basically governance forms lets you understand the key milestones that you achieved uh, the challenges that your teams faced you can create a form to collect all that information and uh, have it uh, you know go through an approval process as well so let me show you an example of a governance form okay sorry i'm doing it in project template so you need to be on a form templates to choose the form so this can be an example of a governance form where your project owner is filling out the key milestones achieved challenges faced overall risk and so on and once this is submitted it can go into um, the you know review of a stakeholder like a cx or anybody who is monitoring the project and we can set up automations to completely automate the approval flow for this particular uh, form so going back to project templates uh, and going into the template that we were right we are in right now so here is the governance form and i've set up an automation where if a form response is received you request approval and on approval you complete a phase or so on so this is just an example on high level i'm letting you know that you can also automate approval process in 
using automations and for governance forms and you know certain companies also like a best practice use governance forms to set up the rag status of a project meaning the red amber green like the health status of a project so that's also a best practice that you can do and if you're someone who is keen on doing raid logs and you wish to see raid log responses uh, you can basically create a task out of the raid log responses that come uh, and under the project you can create under the list you can create a view that talks about the raid log responses and keep track of all the risk assumption uh, in issues and the dependencies that you talk about in raid logs so i'm not going deep into it because uh, if you're interested we can delve deeper into it in the upcoming sessions but these are also things that you can do with forms and automations so with that i will conclude our uh, session for uh, today and before i wrap up i just want to touch base on two other things one is um, I mean, you all know that uh, this initiative is born from us wanting to, you know, wanting you to adapt Rocket Lane to your needs. So webinars is one that we're doing, and we also have a Rocket Lane Academy where you and also all of your team members can enroll and self-learn Rocket Lane and create more stickiness and build confidence on the product. And we also have a great-looking certificate that you can download and you know showcase to your team members, saying, "Hey, you have Rocket Lane as a skill now." So Rocket Lane Academy is part of that. And uh, we would love to hear from you on what topics you would like to delve deep into and understand through these webinars. So please feel free to drop them in the chat here. Or we will send out the recording of the session and answer all your questions on an after email. Uh, so you can also reply to that and let us know what topics you want to learn. We'll give you a feedback form that you can fill out and let us know what topics you want to learn. So just take your time and get back to us with everything that you want to learn with us. We'll host and make it available for you. Thank you so much. So you can also, uh, you know, look at the poll that I just dropped, sir, and you know, let us know what you wish to learn. Great. Also, Wokim, Yuneka, Josh, uh, you can definitely let us know what else you wish to learn. I see that Bala has uh, meticulously answered all of your questions. So thanks, Bala. Um, Anything else uh, that you would like to ask and get answered, guys, just please let us know. We can, you know, discuss it here or even get back to you uh, through an email on it. All right. Looks like uh, that's everything. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for attending. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, see you in our next webinar series. Take care. Bye.